I'm here with Brandon Hernandez, a seven RBI game in game one of the IBL playoffs. And Brandon, you had two bases loaded, two out at bats. One was a single, one was a double. And what was the approach to that? You had a lot of foul balls, stayed alive, stayed alive in a lot of counts, and you managed to find some green. What was the approach tonight? Staying ready for the fastball, always. Uh, even if you get B, you can't change your what pitch you're looking for. You just always got to stay on that fastball. And coming into this game, you were on a little bit of a cold streak, but you found your groove tonight. Was there a necessary? Was there an adjustment you made, or was it just staying, uh, staying ready, and your time will come? Uh, those slumps happen in baseball. You just gotta live with it and try to move on and stay ready for the next game. And hopefully, things will work out. And if they don't, you just gotta trust the process. And last question for you: Ten Baycats hitters, ten different Baycats hitters, all reached base tonight. How nice is it for you as a hitter in the top of the order to be able to rely on the guy in front of you or the guy behind you and be able to put up as many runs as you did tonight? It's great. It's always, it's always good to trust your teammates and knowing what they could do and believing in them just like they believe in me. So that's how I think we'll get far. We just trust in each other all the way through. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Nolan, terrific game, a large victory in game one of the IBL playoffs. Um, you hit a long ball, and we saw your, your other teammate, Ryan Rio, be late on a breaking ball right before that. For a power hitter like yourself, who also takes walks and hits for average, uh, what's that approach like to be able to hit long balls, but also be able to keep up with different off-speed pitches and make contact no matter the situation? Uh, just going in there and competing. I, you know, I had advantage count there. I think I was in a 2-1 count, so uh, hunting that fastball, and he gave me one out over the plate, and I put a good swing on it. And uh, Yeah, just going up to the plate right now and competing. And um, same, same question as Brandon. A total of 10 different Baycats hitters reached base safely tonight. Um, how important is it or how nice is it for you as a hitter to step into this lineup and know that the guy in front of you or the guy behind you is going to do their job and put you in the best situation to be successful? Yeah, it's, uh, it's awesome. I mean, trust these guys behind me, trust them in front of me. You know, everyone's getting on base. We, Audie had a great game tonight. Nando had a great game. You know, uh, those are big puzzle pieces. And uh, we had great pitching too, so let's not forget, like, Frank w went there and shoved, and, and the cast, you know, he, he ran out of cast maybe there a little bit at the end, but uh, he, he threw well for us, and, you know, it's, it's one by one right now. We're just trying to get wins. Thank you, Nolan. You're welcome. All right, with Baycats manager Josh Mallow and Josh, big win for your club. It looked like it was over early. Uh, let's start with the pitching. Uh, you went with Frank Garces in game one. Uh, what really brought you to, to have him start in game one over a guy like Cesar Rosado? Uh, Frank's a number one. He's a no-brainer. Um, Rosado, the beautiful thing about a five-game series is both of them have to pitch twice, so it really didn't matter um, who we went with first game. Frank's um, been consistent for us, especially in the playoffs. We wanted to get that first win. We know how important it is, and he shoved today. How was it like being back in the dugout for you, first game back after the suspension? You, you mentioned it to me before. You watched the games of the last week or so from a different perspective. What did you take from that perspective back into the dugout in this game? Uh, the things you take for granted. Um, the boys welcomed me back nicely, and it was really nice to see. We had uh, 13 runs in the first four innings and uh, kind of put the game out of, out of touch there. After that, I was just getting guys some, some reps, some playoff reps. So what mentality now, as we had, like, that's game one of the playoffs, what mentality from the guys is instilled knowing it may be clean slate, you know, this game means more? What really went into their uh, approach? Uh, it's just uh, just keep the foot on the gas. We're just going to keep going. We're, we're a good team. This is what we're capable of. We, we know that. Um, you know, guys had good at bats. So we're playing as a team now. Not, it's not individual accolades or, um, you know, statistics. It, now it's about playing as a team, and they did. And um, we got five runs in the second, three, and then five again. So it's like the guys put it together, and it's nice to see. Lacasse had a really you know tough outing, I would say, right at the end of that ninth inning, but he still held it down. You know, what have you seen out of him to you know maybe keep him in that spot? Yeah, he's been consistent for us. I mean, it was a 13 nothing game or something like that at that point. Um, he ran out of gas, obviously. He did 90 pitches in three innings, but we didn't want to use another arm, and uh, obviously neither did they, so it made sense. Uh, we don't have him this weekend anyway, so it's what it is. Well, Josh, uh, congratulations on the win. Big game 1W. Uh, see you on Saturday. Thank you very much.